Before we move on, I need to show you how to uh, change the size of images. And we need to know the size of the image for this, which I can tell you right now is 620 wide and 320 high. This is for your sliders. We need to know the size of the image down here at the bottom. This right here is 250 by 250. So you can make note of these. And up at the top, this image right here. I'm not sure of, so I'll show you how to find out the size of an image too. All right, we right click, click on View Image, right click again, View Image Info, and this is 468 by 60. Go back. And this image doesn't actually fit with WordPress training. This is for the PDIMI. So let's actually change that image for you right now, shall we? I'm going to actually go and find something I can use for it. And I'll show you how to upload it to here. First, let's show you how to resize an image. This right here is one that my brother made me for my Twitter account, which is another training course, by the way. See how big it is? The size of this is 1839 by 927. So if we want to resize this, click this. Let's go 468 by 60. And there is the image. Now all you would do if you wanted to use this, for instance, but it's so stretched that I'm not going to, is just click here and click Save As. Okay, so that's how you resize an image. And again, you can resize it to any size. You can resize it to 250 by 250. That's a little bit better, but it's still kind of blurry. And you can keep changing these and changing these so that they don't look all stretched and skewed. I'll show you what I mean there too, might as well. Let's open it up again. That's not too bad there, but even a better way to do it would be to undo. Just cut one piece out that you may be interested in using like this. Select. And 250 by 250 is fairly square, so you would want to make this fairly square, not perfectly square, but fairly. Copy it, Control C or Control X, and go New. Don't save. Paste it, Control V. Now resize it. 250 by 250. And I have just created a new savable image. And you can put your text in here too, you know how to use paint, if you know how to use paint. But I'm actually going to save this image to my desktop. Save as JPEG. Now I can actually use this in the future. save. Okay, let's go back and let's upload an image to that WordPress blog. Now we need one for right here, don't we? So how do we do this? Log in. And you need to upload it to media. Add new. and select files the image I'm going to use is another one that I just made open it also put your alternate text on it now whatever you do this is a very important before you move on copy this 
and save it. Copy, open up a WordPad document and save it. Because if you lose this, I'm not sure how to find it again. Okay. It was supposed to be 468 by 60. I'm going to see what happened. Not sure what happened, but I had to redo it. And here are the images that I have actually stored in inside of this WordPress theme. Okay, now we need to go and put that where it goes, right? Let's open this up in another window so I can show you what's happening. And we are going to put that image right here. And how we do that is go to Appearance, World Web Options, scroll down, and this is the header banner right here. So you want to copy this. Take it back to that document. Paste it right here. Now this URL right here, and this again is very extremely important. It goes between the quotation marks. So it goes right here, okay? Let's delete this. And that is what this looks like. So I will go through this with you right now. A space H R E F equals I M G space S R C equals quotation, quotation, and then end it with this exactly like this and this I cannot stress how important again this is this has to be done exactly like this so we copy this image URL paste it between the quotations with no space there let's pick this up copy it take it back and paste it right here. Now we scroll down and we click Save. And if all goes well, let's keep our fingers crossed here. We refresh this, that image should be right here. And there we go. Okay, just to clarify, I'm going to open up the WordPress website that we used for practice yesterday and go through this again and here's the website here so again let's go to the dashboard go to media add new find your image right here open it paste this in the alternate text highlight this and copy it take it back to the document paste it in a document now we need to put those little funny things again just like this and you pick this up copy it put it right in between the quotations and paste it the backspace, make sure there's no space there. Pick this up. Take it back. We need to save this, of course. Go to Appearance, World Web Options. We scroll down and find the right place, which is right here. And by the way, when you first get this theme, it's got a bunch of extra text in here. And this is a link right back directly to their website from yours. Anyway, let's paste that URL right here. 
scroll down and save changes and let's take a look at it it's changed now while we're here why don't we just take something for practice and I'll show you how to do this one right here first we have to upload an image media add new same thing find the image open paste in your alternate text copy this file URL click save changes here come back to your document between the quotations paste pick this up come back go back to world web options now this is the header here alright we don't want the header this is the sidebar one bottom banner so we get rid of this delete it and paste in what we just did now we save changes come back here scroll down so you can see it change refresh and there it is so what we just did is put this header in here and we changed this right here and it's possible that you're going to be seeing this uh, in other videos because I've done this training over and over again so that is how you put your images in the World Web theme.